play-based math curriculums for kindergarten. There are two popular and similar ones out there called Right Start Math Level A and Kindergarten Math with Confidence. Today I'm going to show you inside of both, give you some comparison and contrast of these two curriculums. Hi friend, I'm Sarah, my home, your home, our home, and I did a classic maybe hopefully not a classic and very common mistake, but I bought two different math curriculums that I found out later are for the same age group and very, very similar. So I decided when I found that out, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to compare them and contrast them and see which one I'm going to go with. So I'm going to show you inside of Kindergarten Math with Confidence by Kate Snow and also Right Start Math Level A by Joan Cotter. Summer Myers here on YouTube can give you an in-depth review of Right Start Math as well as tell you how it has worked for her kids because she's actually gone through the program many times now. So I will leave her video linked below, but just to compare these two programs for you today, if you're looking into one or the other um, and wanting to decide which one you should go with, hopefully this can help you compare them. Both of these programs have short, hands-on lessons, and they're both developmentally appropriate. They have clear directions and explanatory notes. They're easy to use. They're both covering all of these concepts of counting to 100, reading, writing, comparing numbers, shapes, and patterns, beginning addition and subtraction, coins, time, and measurement. One thing that is different between these books is other uh, books that are pulled in. So picture books are included in Kindergarten Math with Confidence. I think both of these programs are wonderful because they're play-based. So you are getting real life math and also in an enjoyable way for your kids developmentally appropriate. Uh, quite Montessori, I would say in some ways, but I am not quite sure that's exactly what they're based on, but I do think they fit within that model. First, let me show you what comes with each program. Right Start Mathematics Level A comes with a student guide and also the instructor's guide. You can buy with it or separately the materials for the first few levels of Right Start Mathematics. These include tally sticks, a geo reflector, geo boards with two separate sides. There are two of them in the package. Geo boards activity book with rubber bands, an abacus with thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones place value and instructions on how to use it. Card decks, including a basic number card deck, place value cards, multiplication card deck, fraction card deck, money card deck, clock card deck, and then a card deck with some numbers on it, abacus cards, envelopes with various numbers and frames, and a clock. The Right Start Math Manipulative Kit also comes with these colorful tiles. The Kindergarten Math with Confidence by Kate Snow comes with a student workbook and the teacher's guide. There are no materials that come with it because it uses everyday household items. The student workbooks. Right Start Mathematics workbook is worksheets including a game log and some estimation sheets. There are sheets for writing the numbers, abacus, and addition including with tens. These are easily copyable because they're only in black and white, so you're not going to spend a lot on ink, and it's not a very big worksheet. Most of the activities are done with the manipulatives that come in the package rather than with worksheets. Kindergarten Math with Confidence is considerably bigger than Right Start Maths. Um, you can see these side by side. It's probably four times as long. <laughs> Kindergarten Math with Confidence is printed in color and you have various types of math application with pictures. This one is more visual as far as I'm concerned. Um, it has more beautiful um, things with the color and the illustrations, but if your child is easily distracted by that, that's something to consider. If your child finds that really motivating, that's also something to consider between these two programs. Symmetric shapes, 10 frames, patterns, longer and shorter, adding, subtraction, dividing into groups in order to add and subtract, tally marks, and number pictures, calendars, parts of the day, o'clock, telling time to the hour. For the scope and sequence, let's start with the Right Start Mathematics Instructor's Guide. This is all in black and white, just like the student workbook. You're going to have a list of resources that are needed to complete the lessons. These are the objectives, so you get a scope and sequence. 
and you know what your student should be able to do by the end of the program, explanation of how the program was developed, some key thoughts to why this program is so successful. This was developed by a woman who has her doctorate in math instruction. Here's the table of contents. These are a list of pages that you should copy to use with your student. And the first lesson is quantities one to three. You're going to do quantities one to four in the next lesson and sorting. With this program, you are estimating numbers rather than counting them. So you're learning that this is five just by sight, which is actually what we do as adults because we don't sit down and count five out usually. Working on shapes, abacus, so you're able to picture groups of numbers, ordering, parallel lines and planes. So in each lesson you have the objectives listed for you, the materials that you will need, warm-up activity, which often includes a song or a little ditty that can help you memorize the facts or remember them, some notes about what you should know as a teacher, and the activity. So you're going to have a script for you that's all underlined of what you should say exactly, and then you have the illustrations here to show you what you should be doing. There is a book that goes along with this program that we don't have, unfortunately, but it can teach your child a song so they can remember each number as a sum of other numbers. You have some activities with the manipulative materials that are in the kit, and then you also have some that you don't even need the materials for. So it's very well laid out for you. You are using the materials in every single lesson. Each lesson has many games included. You're not going to be uh, wanting for any types of activities. If your child learns a lot through games, which many, many children do, then this would be an excellent choice for them. And if you're wanting low prep work, not having to gather materials, that kind of thing, then this also looks like it would be a good fit. Sheets in the back that you can photocopy for your activities. You're going to use these in the lessons that note them as the materials for that. This instructor's guide is not super thick in comparison to Kindergarten Math with Confidence. Again, it is about half the size or maybe two thirds of this size. So overall, Right Start Mathematics would have less paper included with it and more manipulatives. Kindergarten Math with Confidence Instructor's Guide starts the same place as a Right Start Math Level A. So both of these books have good notes about what you are going to need throughout the unit and also the thoughts methodology behind the program. This one is divided into units, so you are going um, numbers to 10 in the first unit, and it starts in the very same place as Right Start Math Level A. You're just skipping and going numbers one to four instead of numbers one to three in your first lesson, and you are learning subitizing. So you're weaving math into your everyday life, some activities that you can do throughout the day, and you have a math book of the week. So if you're wanting literature that you can use with math, this one will draw that in for you. You're going to have a list of materials that you need for week one. At the beginning of the unit, you'll have a list of materials that you need for all the lessons. Then it's going to tell you the activities that you do. It also gives you a script, so all the words in bold are the ones that you would say exactly to your child or if you want to paraphrase them, that's possible too. It tells you which work page you're going to do. Um, in the very beginning of the unit is where you're going to have an overview. This isn't seated as objectives, but I would say it fits with objectives. Each week has an overview of the week within the unit. And then with the lesson, you don't have an objective stated for you. You just have the activities and workbook and uh, the materials, of course, were listed before. So you're not going to have an objective for each lesson spelled out for you. You're going to have uh, reviews and warms, warm up less parts of the lesson. Uh, some craft type of activities where you're making a collage. Kate Snow does no optional activity, so you don't have to do everything. Answer keys, just like in Right Start Math Level A, you have the answer key to the worksheets there in the book. With both of these programs, you are using United States currency. So if you're in Canada or like us, you live overseas, that's something you want to consider. You can substitute that out very easily for your own currency. I don't think that's a problem. This one, it looks like you're not exactly estimating at the beginning. You're actually counting the numbers. And um, I do think Right Start Math Level A gets into estimation at least toward the beginning of the program, if not at the very beginning. 
Uh, so that is a small difference that I'm noticing. If anyone has gone through kindergarten math with confidence and thinks differently, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, you're finding combinations again with 10 frames, combinations that make a certain number. So just both of these programs are based on 10 frames. You're getting into shapes in week six and and rectangles. This instructor's guide is very substantial. Um, it goes through, I believe, 32 weeks of the program. Right Start Math Level A, I think that you can transition to Right Start Math Level B, probably mid-year, depending on your child's ability. Both programs you go at your child's pace. With both programs, it looks like you're getting a very good foundation of many things, including length, comparatives and superlatives, shapes, uh, sequencing, patterns, and counting, of course, estimation. I'm not sure about kindergarten math with confidence, including that, but you're looking at uh, everyday objects as well in both programs and learning how to implement math into everyday life or find math in everyday life. You are learning addition in both programs. You're using 10 frames, you're using uh, currency, and you're using some games. This program, Kindergarten Math with Confidence, includes uh, some checkpoints after each unit. Another thing to consider with both of these programs is follow-up. What are you going to do next? Right, so our mathematics has math all the way through level H. You're getting into very complex math by this point. There are also programs after Kindergarten Math with Confidence that continue through the different grade levels. And both of these programs have a thorough coverage of all the things that your child will need to know going into first grade. I would say that they will be well prepared for first grade. One thing to note and that I would find myself falling into is that with Right Start Math having dedicated manipulatives to the program that are used in successive years um, and those actually being physical objects rather than household objects that you're pulling out for the lessons. I would find myself revisiting the math games naturally with Right Start Math even after we've completed the program because the materials are right there and we remember the games. Whereas with Kindergarten Math with Confidence, I would have to go back to the book and actually think about it um, because the objects aren't right there in front of me. I hope that makes sense, but that's just something to consider if you're wanting to continue math through the summer but without having to consult one of the books. I also think that these books would be great summer program books. You could do these activities in the summer. Even if your child is not being homeschooled throughout the year, you could use these programs as supplemental work or just for fun or if they enjoy numbers. Another thing to consider is Right Start Mathematics is only available in physical copy, whereas Kindergarten Math with Confidence is avail available as a PDF from the Well-Trained Mind Press. So if you are wanting resources and you live overseas as we do, this one you can find overseas and you don't have to get manipulatives specific to it, whereas this one you're going to have specific manipulatives with the program and you're going to have to get a physical copy mailed to you or picked up at some point. Which math curriculum should you go for? Well, I haven't made up my mind yet and I'm not gonna tell you which one you should go for. But I do hope this video helps you think through your options when it comes to these two programs and maybe which one would be a best fit for your family. Nice chatting with you guys. See you next time. Ciao.